Let's start with education. Abraham Atta is Ghanaian. He has a lot of potential and can use his brand to sell out government free SHS policy, especially to children. He doesn't need to school in Ghana for to be or be a direct beneficiary of the policy in order for him to be made an ambassador. Those are the comments and reactions coming from the Education Minister, Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe, in defense to the choice and reason behind Ghanaian born Hollywood actor Abraham Atta as the ambassador for government free SHS policy. The sector minister announced this at the unveiling of the child actor as ambassador this morning in Accra. Is he a Ghanaian? Yes. Okay, that is very easy. I'm not sure he is the first ambassador of anything. That are selected for all topical issues into a lot of people. So, when such a person comes on board a topical issue and lends his credibility and his weight and his integrity behind it, it is positive news. That the same argument you speak for the president because he's not also going to participate in free SHS? Or the parent who pays for the school fees who is not going to participate in the free SHS is also excited so he can't talk about it? Is it only those who are going to benefit from the free SHS who can talk about it? Those of us making decisions are not direct beneficiaries. He may not be a direct beneficiary. It doesn't mean he cannot speak positively to it. Education Minister Dr. Opoku Prempe there. Well, he says government is determined to roll out the free SHS policy in spite of the negative reportage they believe it has received since its announcement. According to him, government will rather, quote, borrow to fund free SHS than borrow to chop. So about a free SHS program. It is very easy for the well-off to shout and say, why do we need it? Ghana is poor. What about quality? It is very easy for the well-off to say, oh, if you are, how are we going to find money? Because the well-off doesn't need a free SHS for his children or her children to progress in life. But if you care about development of a country, and if you think through the history of this country, that certain parts of this country and certain people in this country, certain citizens of this country, have enjoyed free SHS for nearly 60 years. You then tend to ask yourself, should we now not extend it to everybody? And when we be extended to everybody, should we now not start removing the barrier of a financial impediment that people with talent cannot develop their God-given talent? So let nobody think, let nobody think that we don't know where our priorities lie. This government has chosen that instead of spending 138 million on capacity building of our oil money, dollars in a year, that can serve as a starting point for our free SHS. Government is going to work assiduously to our commitment of free SHS starting in September this year. It is better for us to borrow to fund free SHS than for uh, borrow to chop the money. It is better to bring hope into those who are vulnerable in the society. The best way to bring hope and aspiration to that, those parts of the country that the vulnerable are is to undertake this free SHS. Thank you. Dr. Matthew Pokopempe there. What is